everyone welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to create fixed buffer in QGIS. So you can see here I'm going to show you the example of point, line and polygon. So before getting started uh, we need to make sure few things. For example you can see these layers. Uh, we, ma we must make it make sure that this layer is been in a uh, projected coordinate system. Uh, that too uh, it is a uh, important to run it in a projected coordinate system when you are using it for a smaller area and uh, here in order to make sure whether, whether it's in the projected coordinate system right click on this layer and go to the option properties and uh, now you can see the option source here you can just click in the source and you can see that it has been uh, currently assigned to WGS 84 UTM zone 44N in the information you can, you can find the details about this you can see here uh, minus uh, using projected coordinate system and uh, I'm using uh, UTM zone 44N for this analysis. So it can it can vary based on the uh, region which you are located in. So it is uh, important to make sure the layers uh, is in projected coordinate system for doing buffer. And also we need to set the data frame to the projected coordinate system to view it properly so for that uh, click on the option uh, project here you can find the option properties in properties you can see the option over here CRS so here also I am using the projected coordinate system so that I can visualize the output properly so let me apply it and give ok so now if you if your uh, shapefile is not in a uh, projected coordinate system let me show you how to do that right click on this layer any layer point line or polygon and uh, go to the option export and you can find the option save feature as select it and here just specify the output location for example let me specify it as pts and hit the button save and in the CRS option, if you are uh, if you are not using the projected coordinate system, uh, make sure that here you can uh, select the projected coordinate system. You can see on the uh, corner, you can uh, you can you have an option to select the CRS. Here you can uh, select the coordinates reference system accordingly for your region. For example, I am uh, using for for India, so I am in a particular zone. So I am using the uh, projected coordinate system zone 44N that is UTM zone 44N. This is the which uh, uh, version I am using in. Likewise you can select accordingly based on your region and click OK. After that after doing it hit the button OK so that the uh, layer will be automatically exported. So you can see here now it has been changed to uh, projected coordinate system. Just an example how to make your layer to projected coordinate system. Mine is uh, already uh, in a projected coordinate system. So, this is a procedure how to do that. So, now let's get a start, get started with the buffer. So, on the top, you can find the option vector. After clicking buffer, you can see the option geoprocessing tool. So, here itself, you can find the option buffer, select the buffer tool after selecting the buffer tool you can select the layers accordingly for example here I am having point line and polygon first let me show you how to do it in point and if you want to browse your files you can just click here you can select the files or you can use the option browse for the layer and you can browse and uh, bring your layer here so here uh, we are going to specify the distance uh, buffer distance so I am going to give the buffer distance 100 so here you can see whether you, you, you must have it in uh, meters or kilometers, feet or miles or yards. So here I am going to give meters. You can see the segments out here. So if you want you can change the segments. Otherwise you can leave it as it is. And you can see the end cap style. So I am going to use round. If you want you can use flat, square. So I haven't tried. Uh, 
using point for uh, flat and square options. If you want, you can try it. Try it out. You can see the join style. So it can be used to for a, a polygon and line. So now you can see buffered. If you want, you can save this file by clicking, clicking this option or it will be uh, saved as a temporary layer. So for example, if you want to save the file, you, go, you can uh, select the option create a temporary layer or save to a file or save to a geo package. Lot of options are available. Here I'm going to use the option save to file. If you want, you can use, uh, you can uh, select the option create temporary layer. After that, you can export it. So here I'm going to use save to file. After selecting save to file, So now I have uh, selected it and now I'm going to run it. So let me close this. The buffer has been completed and let me uh, bring the buffer below the point so that we can visualize it properly. So let me disable the other features. So you can see here. So this is the point which we have uh, used and you can see that we have uh, created an uh, buffer using a 100 meter spacing. So from the point to here, if you measure it, it will be around 100 meters. So we have successfully created 100 meters. You can see here the circle has been broken. The circle has been broken. It's not in a perfect uh, circular shape. So if you want, you can increase the segments. Let me show you that how to do that. So once again, go to the option vector. And here, geo processing tools buffer. I'm going to select point once again. So here I'm going to give. Let me take it as 120 meters. From the point, I'm going to draw the buffer 120 meters. So here I'm going to increase the segments. So let me increase the segments to 15. And let us see how the shape looks like. And I'm not going to change anything over here. Now hit the run. Uh, hit the option run. So we are going to save it to do a temporary file. Let me close this. Now you can see here how this buffer looks. It uh, looks uh, like a perfect circle. If you want to incre increase the segments, it will be more like a circle, circle shaped. You can uh, increase the segments. The circle will be more co correct and perfect. So that is the difference. If you, if you want, you can use or increase the segment, you can increase the segments. You can directly uh, save this layer, export, save layer as, you can give some file. And hit the button OK. Now it has been successfully saved as a layer. Likewise, you can save it. So now let us see how to create a uh, buffer for line. So the same thing, vector, geoprocessing, buffer. After that, we are going to select the line feature here. So once you have selected the line feature, you can go, go with it. If you want, you can just select this option and browse your files and bring, it the, bring the file over here. Now let me assign the distance, for example. Here I need a buffer for the line. So I need the buffer, uh, let me... 500 meters or kilometers you can select. Let me give a 0 0.5 kilometers and here I think segments is not uh, needed. I think so. Let, let us see how the output uh, results look like. And now uh, you can see the end cap style over here. Uh, how the end should be looking like it should be round or flat or it could be square. So I'm going to select uh, flat and the uh, uh, join style. So if you want, you can select any of these uh, options. So here I'm going to select round. Uh, I think uh, segments also play place here. So 
let me give the uh, segments as five and uh, let us see how the re results look like and you can see here we have created a 0 0.5 kilometers buffer so let me show you that let me bring on the line on the top you can see here so we have uh, made a buffer out of a line feature successfully so le let me just check the uh, measurement so we have created a 0 0.5 kilometers buffer so from here to here so you can just uh, check in the uh, right hand side uh, corner you can see the uh, total distance so that is 105 sorry 501 meters so if it uh, if we, if i zoom in and properly measure it it will be around 500 meters that is 0 0.5 kilometers so it is exactly the same so likewise you can create it for line so finally we just see how to create the buffer font polygon once again vector here we are going to use the geoprocessing tool buffer and here we are going to select the polygon QGAs and we are going to give the buffer distance as 250 meters so I am going to give 250 meters here I am going to give segments 15 let us see how it looks like and here you can see the uh, end cap style round if you want you can change it accordingly here I am just leaving it uh, it is a uh, round and uh, let me uh, leave the uh, joint style as round you can select accordingly based on your need you can just try it out how it looks like hit the button run so you can see here we have uh, got the buffer let me bring on the polygon layer on the top so that we can uh, have a proper look at it so you can see here how this uh, how it is looking like so you can see the round uh, it has been prevailed on the corner you can just check in over here so likewise you can create a buffer in QJS so if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section I will be answering to your questions thanks for watching Terra special please do subscribe goodbye everyone